Greg, you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here's the small cherry coke. And uh, we'll make a root beer float. Okay. Okay. So this is a soda jerk reunion in Tulsa Day, right? So when were you a soda jerk? I was a soda jerk. I started uh, around my freshman year in high school, uh, around 1962. I worked until I graduated in 65. Went to Elias High School here in town. And uh, uh, we usually would, would work our shifts uh, uh, during the week uh, when school was going. We'd work, uh, we'd come in at 3:30 and usually work till six, or we'd come in at six and work till 10, and then close, and then Saturdays and Sundays the store was open till uh, till noon. That's really cool. So what did that job entail? When did uh, basically, we were the ones behind the soda fountains. We made the sodas and the milkshakes and the malts and the ice cream sodas. But we also helped out on the other side here that uh, we helped the other customers as well to uh, help them out. They, whatever kind of sundries or, or they might be in the store. And um, what kind of drinks did you make? Oh, Lord, we made a lot, a lot of cherry cokes. We made root beer uh, cokes and root beer floats. And we also made vanilla and chocolate sodas. Uh, we had graveyards, which was a combination of about everything. So uh, we got pretty schooled in the, just about any type of uh, mixology you could imagine. That's really crazy. So now, how has it changed? You've noticed today people are asking for different drinks. What are what's the difference? Well, I think you know it's it's been scaled down quite a bit, quite a bit on the soda fountains. They don't offer a lot of shades and malts and different types of sodas, but still the old standby. Cherry cokes are always a favorite. That's what I've noticed today. A lot of people want cherry cokes. And what is the difference? And um, the prices, and like how much you get paid now. Well, let's see. I would tell you I worked for 60 cents an hour for three years. Oh, my gosh. And uh, I'm sure that's uh, much different these days. But but back then, uh, 60 cents was fine. You know, we, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed the job. It was a great place to work. A great experience for everybody. Taught us a lot of discipline. Taught us uh, customer relations. And that was always important to uh, Mr. Whaley, who was going at that time. So what do you think you took from the job? And, like, you know, I think I, I took away a lot of responsibilities. Uh, a lot of ways to deal with the public. Uh, knowing that we had to meet schedules. We're always on time. Yeah. Uh, we took care of, of uh, what was required of us while we were working here. And I think it's just a, a great experience overall. Have you been back since then? Since oh, now? many times. I live here in town. So sure, I come back all the time. And, uh, always happy to come back in here. And I, once you're with uh, East End Drug Store, you never leave East End Drug Store. Do they let you go behind the fountain? Oh, I have at times. So they, I'll come in and they'll say, go ahead and fix your own soda. <laughs> you certainly know how. So, what's the greatest part about today, this whole Appreciation Day? And being you know, it's a, a way to get back behind the soda fountain, and we have fun doing that. But to see some of our old customers, obviously, and just to see a lot of people come in and, and enjoy the, uh, the celebration with uh, Connie and Daryl Hubble, obviously. And what are some stories that you remember from your soda jerk days? Oh, I would tell you one of that I can always remember. When you get off of school, you're always uh, uh, hungry as a kid. And in the mornings down here, they would always have donuts. And uh, one of the pharmacists I will go nameless knew that I would, would devour those donuts when I came in. And a couple of times he would sprinkle quinine on them. And quinine is very, very bitter. And they would all stand around waiting for me to devour the donuts. And of course, when I did, they would see what happened. And, and uh, just they would laugh quite heartily. And uh, of course, the joke was on them. One way to get rid of the taste was just eat a lot of ice cream. <laughs> That's so funny. So is there any other things you think I should ask you? Anything you want to like talk about? Uh, no, there's some things probably left unsaid. <laughs> no, it was a great experience, and I know all the all the uh, guys and gals that work behind the counter really enjoyed it. Uh, great place to work and, and great people.